dear students assalamu alaikum i am here mohammad jamal khan lecturer in botany university of education lahore today we have a first lecture of one of the major subject of botany that is plant systematic anatomy and development the course code of this subject is botn 1212 and our focus in today's lecture is on the introduction of plant systematic so here we so here we have the content of this lecture first of all we discuss the definition then we have a different differentiation between two terms two similar terms one is plant taxonomy the other one is plant systematic then <clears throat> we uh, reveal the aims objectives and importance of plant systematic after that we discuss the taxonomic components of plant systematic then we uh, reveal the scope of plant systematic and in the end we discuss component fields of plant systematic we have the uh, definition of plant systematic and that is given by the gg simpson in 1961 he defined uh, it as the scientific study of the kinds and diversity of organisms and the evolutionary relationship among them it means that the plant systematic uh, is a science that includes and uh, encompasses uh, traditional taxonomy in which the primary goal is to reconstruct the evolutionary history of plant life so it divides plant into uh, taxonomic groups using different characteristics that includes the morphological anatomical embryological chromosomal and chemical data so so the main focus of Uh, plant systematic is to determine the phylogeny uh, so the evolutionary history of a particular group of plant is the primary goal of systematic to investigate or to identify one thing that i want to convey you that this uh, branch of science uh, i called the plant systematic ek have unwittingly started the started by the scientist or earlier botanist so number of scientist uh, classified many plant species in their books like uh, theophrastus and uh, pedinius but it was the charles darwin uh, who was the main influence on the science with the publication of the origin of species and he may have been the first to use phylogeny uh, phylogeny and call the rapid development of all the higher plants within a recent geological time so uh, here we have some of the differentiation between two terms one is basic uh, uh, term is uh, plant taxonomy the other one is plant systematic although uh, the differentiation between these two terms uh, is uh, not uh, so much uh, uh, differ uh, from each other 
so uh, when we talk about the systematic uh, systematic deal with the evolutionary relationship between organisms so systematic try to determine which organisms share a recent and uh, sense ancestry with others so systematic are concerned about the amount of evolutionary changes that may have occurred between ancestries while the taxonomy deal with the classification and naming of the organisms so darwin proposed that all organism on earth share a common ancestor so taxonomist make sure the organism that do not share a common ancestor are not classified uh, in the same group so here we have uh, the differentiation differentiation uh, between these two terms uh, on the basis of their uh, definition and then we have the on importance evolutionary history of species environmental conditions and the time change with time so one by one we discuss uh, these different uh, differentiations first of all as you know according to definition taxonomy refers to the classification of organisms uh, in biology with a very highly ordered manner while the systematic refers to the uh, study of uh, organism for determination of the evolutionary uh, relationship of organisms so as far as we concerned with the importance uh, taxonomy and uh, give the name description arrange the plants and identify the certain species while the Uh, systematic involved uh, in uh, classification uh, with the, with a concern with the taxonomic functions of uh, plant species taxonomy and uh, doesn't deal with the evolutionary history of organism while the systematic deals with the evolutionary history of the organisms the next is the environmental conditions in the plant taxonomy uh, uh, environmental condition are indirectly related they haven't a direct uh, concern with environmental conditions while in plant systematic environmental Uh, conditions are directly related to the analysis so uh, in the last uh, the plant taxonomy can change with further study uh, as a time being uh, going on while the systematic doesn't change with further studies or uh, change with time is a uh, subject to change with time under uh, plant taxonomy while the doesn't change with time under the heading of plant systematic so uh, simply we can say that taxonomy uh, is describing and naming and classifying of organism in biology and its use is morphological behavioral genetic as well as biochemical observation to identify organisms so while the systematic refers to the study and the classification of organism for the determination of evolutionary relationship of organisms so therefore the uh, systematic uh, consists of both taxonomy and evolution uh, and uh, a systematic uses morphological behavioral genetics and evolutionary relationship between uh, organisms so uh, by using these uh, characteristics features uh, systematic describes an organism by means of classification uh, name and phylogenetics so in the end uh, taxonomy and the systematic are two uh, concepts that are used to identify and describe organisms taxonomy is a component of uh, systematic so in taxonomy the organism are biologically classified and named in systematic uh, phylogenetic relationship of uh, organism are evaluated in addition to taxonomy so the main difference between taxonomy and uh, systematic uh, is the component that are used by them so here we have the aim and objective of plant systematic uh, the first one is uh, the inventory uh, of world fauna 
it is very essential by the botanists to know about uh, the inventory of the world fauna this one uh, because uh, different area exhibit a different type of vegetation and on the base of uh, this vegetation we classify different uh, climatic or different uh, environmental zone so if uh, one identify all kinds of plant on the earth uh, with their names uh, distinctions distribution habits and uh, characteristics so one knows the words fauna So by doing this, uh, we can correlate the studies with scientific data uh, contributed by uh, various uh, researches in the field of uh, botany. So it gives an accumulated information and scientific knowledge of the world uh, plant resources. So this system arrange the kinds of plant into a scheme of classification of an uh, orderly arrangements so this is uh, this provide us a universal uh, system of classification so in this manner the plant systematic provides the factors of evolution to find out the origin of species and their uh, interrelationship uh, taxonomist not only studies the species existing today but also reveals the changes uh, that they have undergone through the past so it demonstrates the evolutionary implication of plant diversity so the plant taxonomy that is the component of uh, plant systematic uh, providing us the correct naming of plants according to the international code of nomenclature so the naming of plant is guided and regulated uh, by international rules of botanical uh, nomenclature it also help us to arrange uh, the plants uh, uh, there are some species uh, that are uh, closely related to each other than others so such species are placed in a higher group similarly the closely related higher groups to still higher groups and so on so we have different uh, uh, taxonomical uh, hierarchy uh, of uh, that base that uh, based on different taxa from kingdom to species in addition to this the plant systematic also uh, help us in the documentation which includes the preservation of living or fossil flora in the herbarium overall we say that the plant uh, systematic uh, help us uh, in taxonomic concepts of plant group or taxa uh, the evolutionary sequence of characters of plant uh, classification and arrangements of uh, taxa and in the end description of uh, taxa so uh, systematic uh, play a very important and central role in botany by providing the means of characterizing the plants that we study <clears throat> uh, the production of classification that uh, reflect evolutionary relationship uh, it also allows uh, the scientist to classify the uh, organism into specific uh, taxa <clears throat> so by allowing uh, taxa to be correctly identified classification provide a key uh, features for the scientist uh, for their convenience uh, so the plant systematic uh, reveals numerous uh, evolutionary phenomena and uh, make them available for uh, study by the other branches of uh, biology similarly uh, plant systematic also provide uh, information 
to con uh, re for the reconcentration of the phylogeny of uh, life. <clears throat> so the information that uh, occurred by systematic uh, needed for entire branches of biology and uh, it also uh, the sake of uh, plant systematic that uh, in the study of ecologically and medically important organism we can identify uh, by this unique branch of uh, biology <clears throat> so the plant uh, systematic is uh, used to name different plants so the set rule for nomenclature so the nomenclature <clears throat> eliminated the confusion among different uh, scientist or plant uh, scientist so now knowledge of plants uh, can uh, shared between botanists of different countries uh, without problem of language and culture <clears throat> uh, in the same manner plant systematic also provide a basis of genetics so the genetic analysis are performed uh, on the basis of uh, systematic here uh, also that uh, that the plant systematic uh, provide basis for uh, comparison of morphological anatomical and cytological structure among different structures of uh, living species or plants <clears throat> so by the uh, knowledge of uh, plant systematic or the proper application of uh, the knowledge of plant systematic uh, to studying changes in organism features uh, through time so moreover it uh, also includes the building and maintenance of biodiversity collection upon which all the pro uh, products of systematic studies are based so it is a, a plant systematic uh, that uh, made a great contribution to our understanding of evolution uh, now thoroughly ecological survey uh, can be conducted without most of the identification of all species that are of ecological importance so so for any ecological survey uh, for uh, vegetation or for uh, the species of plant one must know the knowledge of plant systematic as far as concerned with the uh, agriculture as you know the presently we are faced with the uh, problem of uh, saving our crops and trees from um, attacks of various uh, pests so uh, the taxonomist can give correct identification of the pest species which is vital for its effective uh, control so the correct uh, identification of a particular uh, vector is uh, vital for the beginning of uh, vector under control by killing its uh, transmitter So the next is the biodiversity. As you know, biodiversity in which the variety of organisms available. So by the knowledge of plant systematic, uh, one knows about the variety of organisms. And as far as concerned with their conservation, plant systematic play a very vital role. So meanwhile, uh, plant systematic have an impact in the remedy of various disease uh, in most of the disease uh, we use herbal uh, remedies or herbal medicine that are extract uh, from plant so by knowing the knowledge of plant systematic one can identify the plants that uh, can be used as for herbal remedies of different disease or for the curement of different uh, disease 
so this is all done by the knowledge of plant systematic because the plant systematic uh, provide us a database or information regarding the presence of uh, those plants in uh, different uh, localities so by using this knowledge we can obtain those plants that have a medicinal value and then on the basis of uh, knowledge of plant systematic we can use in different herbal remedies or for the treatment of different disease so here we have uh, some of the importance of uh, plant systematic so, so first of all uh, in plant systematic uh, we arrange elements or taxas of plant uh, into a more systematic manner so that they can be better understood and could be used easily and more effectively so by the orderly arrangement of plant into different taxa or level which will help us to identify or to study the specific organism in various uh, in various uh, levels of classification the second to arrange data or information and knowledge about plants so plant systematic actually provide us uh, a very synchronized uh, method to arrange the data and information regarding any specific uh, organism or plant that can help us to easily and uh, do easily we find the uh, various attributes or various characteristics related to that plant it also indicate uh, the source and the genetic relationship uh, basically origin of plant so by this or by plant systematic one can approach the uh, evolutionary history of that plant in the end we have the, to indicate the distribution and habitat of plant on earth and their benefits so by this uh, one can know the uh, habitat or the localities of the specific plant specimen uh, for their uh, easiest uh, or for their easiest approach or accessibility so can we access the that plant specimen so uh, here we have a taxonomic uh, components that we already discussed uh, earlier in this uh, lecture first of all we have so we have four uh, components classification identification nomenclature and description so the systematic uh, or, or uh, the plant taxonomy it possesses these four uh, component so as you know classification plants are arranged into groups of similar characteristics so the groups are considered as categories or taxa and form the taxonomic system the second one is identification so to identify and derive the name of an organism uh, by referring to an existing classification the third one is nomenclature to provide us very uh, appropriate scientific name to an organism in the last we have description or uh, to describe the characteristics of a taxon or uh, to a specific uh, level of taxonomy taxonomical hierarchy so now we we'll discuss the scope of systematic systematic uh, or plant systematic have a very wide scope because it deals with the uh, uh, diversity and kind of organisms uh, related to different groups or taxa they started from the higher rank kingdom to the smallest uh, level or taxa that is species so from kingdom to species 
there are seven different taxa or levels and we must know the knowledge of each level and taxa so as far as the information or the data related to different uh, levels of uh, plant systematic one must adopt an approach or a method that uh, give us a favor in in enhancing or in uh, elaborating the information of these levels so the systematic uh, includes a much broader aspect and uh, we consider different approaches and method to classify the organisms or plant into different taxa on the base of their morphology anatomy genetics molecular biology and behavior aspects as well as evolutionary biology so these are the different approaches or methods by which we uh, by following these approaches we can deal with uh, various levels of population and species into uh, taxonomy taxonomical hierarchy so here i added two approaches uh, one is the numerical systematics and the other one is the bio chemical systematics these are the uh, approaches that we utilize is uh, for uh, different texts or different levels so first of all the numerical systematic uh, this type of systematic is uh, majorly based on uh, biostatistical method of identification and classifications of organisms while uh, the experimental systematic uh, uh, deals with the identification of various evolutionary uh, units within a species and their role in the process of uh, evolution so the other thing is that we should use comparative method to determine the information of different levels so the comparative method uh, consists of uh, following uh, statements uh, number one is what the unique properties of each species and higher taxons are these are the features or characteristics or attributes that exhibit by the species or higher taxa the other one is what properties certain taxa have in common so uh, here he uh, we discuss the similarities between the uh, properties or between the characteristics of taxa in the last it has it is what the biological causes of the differences or shared characteristics so here we want to know the reasons we not want to know the uh, things that uh, that occur the cause uh, within different uh, level of organization uh, in the last um, the scope of uh, plant systematic concerned with variation within taxa so such variation based on various factors these might be the biochemical processes genetic makeup or environmental conditions these are the factors that may uh, occur to cause variation within a taxa so classification makes organic diversity accessible to other biological disciplines so by this we arrange different uh, groups and level of uh, organisms in a very highly arranged or ordered manner 
So this accessible approach must be provided to other biological disciplines to carry out uh, the various procedures or process for the well-being of mankind. So it means that the information that is provided by the plant systematic hold a very unique and indispensable position among biological sciences because it contains the information of variety of organisms of the world that can be classified on different features or attributes. So here we have uh, seven component fields of uh, systematic that we discuss one by one. So we have here we have biodiversity, then we have taxonomy, then classification, nomenclature, biogeography, evolutionary biology and phylogenetics. So these all are uh, various uh, fields that uh, associated with the plant systematic and we discuss it one by one. So first of all uh, we discuss the biodiversity. As the biodiversity encompasses the study of uh, variability within species, so we refer it as genetic diversity and among species we refer it as species diversity of all living and fossil organisms and their environment. So as you know systematic is the scientific study of diversity of living organisms and of the relationship among them it might be the evolutionary relationship so such field spans a broad, uh, broad range of related areas including phylogeny uh, evolution and classification so therefore uh, the connection uh, between biodiversity and systematic entails locating ecosystem in a predefined way so that many different ways in which organism relate to one another as we already discussed that the taxonomy is the theory and the practice of identifying plants and animals so it deals with the principles involved in study of classification of organisms uh, that includes uh, identification, nomenclature and classification of different kinds of organisms all over the world. So the systematic uh, uses taxonomy as a means to understand organism. So it can be used to uh, classify species based on similarities of uh, different traits and possible mechanism of evolution. So under taxonomy we have uh, further two uh, forms. One is classification and other one is nomenclature. So the classification and nomenclature are the part of uh, taxonomy. So as you know in class, uh, classification we uh, actually this indicates the method of grouping of organism that can be artificial or original uh, or that based on evolutionary uh, relationship. So by using uh, a classification in plant systematic uh, one can determine the evolutionary relationship or uh, it can be helpful for their proper naming in an accurate and proper manner and it also help uh, for the scientist uh, for the regional and the continental plants uh, to be placed in different groups 
so in classification and different organisms are identified properly on the basis of their characteristics so a uh, classification uh, assist uh, in placing the organism in a hierarchical structure uh, of different level with different characteristics and attributes so the next is nomenclature uh, it is a science of naming of organisms that is also the uh, component of uh, plant systematic uh, so by using uh, these uh, uh, this science of nomenclature we produce a, a accepted name all over the world so the names of plants are proposed by scientists uh, have a universal acceptance so such name uh, nomenclature that we used uh, to assigning scientific name is commonly called as binomial nomenclature so binomial nomenclature properly describes the nature of plant and usually indicates uh, important characters of plant so it is the easiest uh, or easier method to understand simple and very meaningful it also indicate the relationship of organism to different uh, genera or different groups so the binomial nomenclature uh, by using this uh, science there is no confusion and uncertainty in the identification of plant in any part of the world so here biogeography is also a component field of uh, plant systematic in which we study the distribution of species and uh, ecosystem in different uh, geographic species and through the geological time so biogeography is a synthetic uh, science that is uh, comprises of uh, different disciplines like geography soil science geology ecology and evolution also so evolution majorly focus on the change in genetic composition of a population in biogeography so we say that the systematic or we can say that the systematic biogeography that uh, deals or study of biotic area relationship and their distribution and hierarchy hierarchical uh, classification of organisms the next one is uh, evolutionary a uh, systematic this is also one of the uh, component field of plant systematic so in this we seek the classify organisms using combi uh, combination of phylogenetic relationship and overall uh, similarity so we can say that the evolutionary systematic uh, deals with the phylogenetic relationship and the degree of evolutionary change so the last uh, component field of uh, plant systematic is phylogenetics as you know the phylogenetic is the formal name of the field uh, within the systematic that reconstruct the evolutionary history and studies the pattern, uh, patterns of uh, relationship among uh, organisms so it majorly uh, used molecular sequencing data and morphological data to identify the uh, patterns of relationship among organisms so the phylogenetic uh, uh, assist the systematic or plant systematic in a broader uh, term so we uh, systematic is not only interested in arranging uh, the biological diversity into a classification system but also uh, seek answer for why and how uh, the diversity 
uh, evolved. So its aim to estimate degree of uh, relationship amongst the biological diversified organism and which can be used as a base for classification and uh, as well as uh, allowing us to work out the evolution of particular traits. So in this manner uh, phylogenetic or evolutionary relationship uh, play a very uh, vital role. So this is all about for this lecture that is the introduction of plant systematic. Stay safe and healthy. May Allah protect us from pandemic coronavirus. Thank you.